Okay, so next up, uh, doing the uh, water cooling next. Uh, I'm going to use uh, the Corsair H100. And now I know the H100i is a newer model and a little bit better. I happen to have this one brand new still and uh, try it out. If I have some problems with it, then I'll replace it with the newer model. But uh, this is for a 2011 socket, which is what this motherboard is and the CPU. And I have a nice spot up in here for uh, putting putting this in. It'll actually fit up inside the case in the assembly. Won't have to, to see it outside of the machine at all. And uh, should be pretty good. I'll uh, show it to you once it's in. Okay, so I got the uh, H100 uh, water cooling installed. It was a little bit tricky because up here, we don't have much room here, and it recommends putting it in this configuration with the pipes down here. And the, uh, but the problem is when I put the fans up here to push airflow out, they wouldn't fit. There's not enough room in here in between, uh, between everything. I wouldn't be able to plug stuff in. And then the actual part here, it sits up this way, right like this, and you know, I tried a bunch of different configurations and I couldn't get the cords or the, the hoses to, to really uh, move well. So anyway, I screwed it in up here with these, um, these fans. These are the fans that came with it. And the debate that I had was, should I push or should I pull? And what I finally decided was is that I'm pushing air in. From the top, um, there's, a, there's a whole screen that goes up here that's a whole airflow uh, thing. Plus it has some airflow in the back here, but it has uh, an actual screen up here. And then this uh, fan right here actually pulls air out. And so this will be in, this will be out. It should make for a pretty good airflow of the heat. Uh, and then I also have uh, two more fans, which one will be in the, the power supply here. And I believe that the power supply by default is going to push air in. And then I have this other monster fan, which is up here in the front. And it's, it's a real big one. Um, and I'll probably set that up and make sure that it is pushing air out. So that, um, so that I don't have a... Uh, I need a suction on the air going out to make sure that I don't have a whole lot of dust buildup inside the machine. Uh, if I get um, negative pressure or whatnot, th there's, there's issues with, with different pressures, positive pressure, negative pressure. You can end up with uh, just a lot of dust accumulating inside, which maybe isn't a problem if, it's, you know, keeping, if you're keeping things cool and you're willing to clean it out. Uh, but overall, I'm just trying to make sure I get the best setup uh, so that this works the best. And this was really the only solution that I could come up with because I couldn't get the clearances I needed in there to, uh, to mount it the way that was suggested. So I'll end up trying this. If it um, doesn't work, I'll fiddle around with it a bit. And, and if all else fails, I'll just not use this water cooling system. I'll just use something else.